Wait until you see this card crafting haul I got from the Dollar Tree. This is Jen Lee with Gentastic Journey, including card crafting. All right, so we have our stash from Dollar Tree, which is like a Dollar General or a Dollar Store. They're all very similar, but I find that the Dollar Tree tends to have more craft items than the other ones do. I do travel to find different ones and to find ones I like, and this is one that I have in Kenosha, and I really like it. First thing I got was these doilies. So they're super pretty, super intricate, and I should probably open them because the glare is a little bit much. So here they are, and you can see the intricate, even in the center, of them. They have some little raised edges. They've got some little roses here. Super pretty, super delicate, and I thought these would look great on cards. I could even cut some things out of them, cut parts out of them, just cut this exterior part. Lots of different things that I could do with these, and for $1.25, you can't go wrong. The dollar stores no longer are a dollar. Everything's about $1.25, as you can see here, so... Everything I'm showing you today is $1.25. All right, so let's see what else I got. And I did get some non-craft items, but these are my craft items. And these are some pretty stickers, and they're 3D. If you look at them this way, you can see the little wings are sticking out. And there's actually stickers. So this is made out of like a plastic, I would say, and then there's a foil sticker behind it, but they're all together, all similar colors, reds and purples and blues. I really thought those would be pretty. So you can see I went kind of hog wild on those. There's nine butterflies in this pack, eight in the last pack, and just a lot to play with there. So I got another eight piece item with some different ones in it. And even another one here, nine, another nine piece that had some different colors. I love butterflies and I love when they have some sparkle as well. Here are some more stickers. And again, these are all 3D type stickers. So I won't typically buy regular stickers, but if I see a pop-up like effect like these, then I will get them. And this one says forever on it, to have and to hold, outside sticker and an inside sticker. And then it says promise, it says love of my life, love you forever. There's like a little crown and a couple of doves. So lots going on here that I thought I could use with some wedding cards. And then similar to the butterflies, I got these flowers. And they're 3D flowers. They're mostly roses. They have little droplets on them. So they look a little bit, they have water on them and they're yellow, pink. And then I got these, which is a whole bunch of different ones and just love all of them. And these are just multiple layers, cardboard looking. I want you to be able to get the full effect of these. So they are made out of a very thick cardboard. You can see I can't really move them with my finger, but there's one, two, two layers. It looks like on all of them, but they're embossed as well. So it gives it a little bit more definition and I just think that these are super cool and they look really awesome for a dollar twenty-five. All right, so those are my stickers. Let me see what else I purchased. So I got some tube confetti. At least that's what they're calling them because they're like little tube pieces. But I thought this would be fun for a shaker card or even just if I wanted to put some of these around there is an iridescent one, a gold one, and a silver one. So three bags for $1.25. Pretty good price. With the same idea, I like the sequins. They're all different colors, different colors of gold and copper and then like a rose gold. So six little packets of those again for a nice shaker card would be fun. All right. I got some foam dot adhesives. These are little teeny tiny squares. I use a lot of those, as you know, in my videos. I got a couple of pearl wraps, they're calling them. And so these are just little pearl strings. And this one happens to be silver. 
And I tend to use that on my card more than I use ribbon, so I bought myself one of these. And then this one's a gold one. I, this might be a full set, and then you could cut it back if you needed to. All right, so let's take a look at this. Yeah, so it's a full, and you could cut these if you want to. So they actually look like rhinestones, almost like a rhinestone bracelet. <laughs> and then you could cut this easily because it's got like a little fabric behind it. So you could cut these and make it into like one string. Like that. So it could be like a string of rhinestones. Super pretty. Um, I also got these, which they're a little bit bold for me. I do like an occasional gem on, on things, but these were kind of iridescent, I would say royal colors, but they also looked a little bit like oil spillish in the centers of them. And it's silver around. And again, I could either cut this like out like one of them, or I could cut a row of them or two of them. So I thought that was super pretty. All right. So I bought this, even though I forgot and I had placed an order for some of these, but this is a double chipped embossing tool. Those are always just handy to have. I have a couple here, so I placed an order and I got a few with different sizes. And so it's the same kind of thing. Probably not a great purchase because I forgot I, was, I had ordered some, but I had needed this at the time. I also got some floral wire. And while wire may not seem like a good idea, it's not as easy to use as string, sometimes you would like something to stay put and not have to put a lot of adhesive on it. So I have used wire in the past and this is really pretty. It's a red color. And I thought it would be nice for some Christmas. I'm putting some ornaments on my Christmas card and I thought these might be nice to hang the ornaments from. So that's what I got there. Along the same line, here's some stretch lace. So this is just thicker. I bought this before. This is thicker than string and it has a little bit more to it. They're like almost like a rubber band, an elastic that you put on your hair. And again, just it stays a little bit, it's a little bit thicker, stays a little bit more where you want it. Then <laughs> this is totally not craft related, but it says Wi-Fi password is, and I have a guest room downstairs and I'm always getting asked this question. So I'm like, how cute is that? It's like you're almost at a hotel. <laughs> so for $1.25, I made myself laugh with that one. Here I got just some labels. I sometimes like a good label to stamp on. You have to be careful with stamp pad to use for these because some can just smear off of there or won't dry really well, but it stays on or even a Versafine or Memento. Those all would do pretty well on here. These don't look too shiny. The packaging is shiny, but the, I pulled them out actually and looked at them myself before I purchased them. And they're not, they don't have a ton of shine to them. You can never go wrong with something like this. I use those all the time. I bought myself a This Week magnetic list pad. Like who doesn't need a list pad, right? I am so excited about this one. So for $1.25, I got an electric pencil sharpener. So it requires some batteries, which I will put in there. But a lot of my pencils are needing to get trimmed up. <laughs> so I need to sharpen them. And I thought this would be super fun. For $1.25, if it doesn't work, it's not the end of the world. It's kind of pretty. It matches a little bit of my stuff going on up here in my craft area. And I thought it would be a great idea. And then I got some googly eyes. They're different colors. So I thought that would be a little bit fun. You could actually not even use them as googly eyes and just put them on some paper with a bunch of dots all around them. I thought that would look as well. What do you think about the googly eyes? <laughs> fun, right? Um, and then I got myself just a cute little gather and give thanks. I thought that was pretty. And I can put that somewhere inside my house. Probably not indoor, outdoor. It is pretty and it's getting to be fall. So that is my Dollar Tree haul for this week. I stay out of the Dollar Tree because I spend money at the Dollar Tree and some of the stuff I just didn't need, right? But it's super fun. So I hope you enjoyed all these. Let me know which one your favorite was. And if you'd like to see more information about how I organize my crafts and where all these things are going to go, check out this video, my craft room organization and renovation video. And that's right here. Thanks for watching.